He's protecting his neck really well, okay? It's like I can't even get in here. Like he's just really clammed up. Okay, so I want an arm. I'm gonna go for an arm. Okay, two different ways people do this. You can come in the arm this way, and people come in the arm this way, okay? So I've got a cool move for each one of those. We're going to go in this way. We're gonna do Draculino's arm lock. Boom, here. I'm coming. So it's like I'm going in for this collar. If you get the collar, that's great. If you've got this collar and you can't get this one in, I can use the collar and go for this. Or I can cut the arm, you know, whichever one you get. Let's say I get the collar. Let's say I get about, I don't get a deep, deep collar grip. I get about right here. This is good. Okay, from here. Now, I'm going to come to the side here. I want to smash it here. Boom. I get this arm kind of smashed. I'm laying on it. This is not comfortable for Clay. Okay, he's rough on his shoulders. Kind of put some pressure down on his face. From here now, I can easily transition. I'm, I'm leaning this way, wrapping this leg here, okay? I'm in the S mount position. This knee's coming up by the head. I'm squeezing here, squeezing here, okay? I'm just sitting right there. You can get your hand out there. Here, okay? I've got this locked. Now, a lot of people from here are just gonna throw this leg over and come back and try to pull this arm back. And he's locked up. He's got mechanical lock here. Um, and I'm, it's gonna be such a fight that I don't want to have to deal with all that, okay? So the, the better position I can get in to begin with is better, okay? Um, but from here, let's say I do go back, and I'm coming back. I also don't want to just fall back and try to throw my leg. I stay over him here, okay? I stay over him. Put that little leg over, okay? Now, norm, generally, I'm going to tell you to never cross your feet when you do an arm lock, okay? For this one, if you do cross them, the one on the head, this is most important, is on bottom. This one's on top, and I'm going to pull his shoulder to me. This is keeping <coughs> everything kind of close, okay? Just so we can't, you know, start creating space. Because I got some work to do first, okay? So from here, what I'm going to do is, the hand comes up like I'm grabbing my own lapel here, okay? Now, if I try to fight in the elbow and pull, I'm going to wear myself out. I'm, I'm not going to get this. Just keep him tight here, okay? Now, he also says now to attack this weakest part of the arm. Okay, shoulder is very strong, elbow strong, the wrist is the weakest part of the arm. Okay, so I've got to get to his wrist. Not necessarily easy. I'm going to reach down and get control of that hand here, right at the wrist, there. So I've at least got a hold of it. Okay, when I do this, he said he calls it a swallowing the arm. Now he's got to swallow his arm. Okay, so I'm going to reach up, I open my armpit up here, I reach up and get his elbow under my armpit. Like right there, see that? Here, I'm coming over and bite down over it. I can put my armpit on his forearm, okay? So I've got the wrist control and I'm over the armpit. As soon as I get that armpit in, I open my feet and bring this leg in. This is pushing his elbow to my side, okay? So I'm here. So now everything is down here close to his wrist, all right? All I'm gonna do now is act like I'm going for a wrist lock. I push that wrist in, okay? Uncomfortable. I'm prying up on the arm here, okay? Very close, I'm biting back on the wrist he wants to let go already okay now from here I always keep pressure down on the face I'm not doing it really hard on clay right now for demonstration purposes but I got the wrist now from here I'm pulling it back this way because if he does have it still locked here I'm pulling it boom here I've got the wrist still you can try to finish that wrist lock if you want to you know some people that flexible wrist some people you make you get it okay it's like a little Americana kind of move here now I'm just bringing it back Controlling, controlling, controlling. Feet are on the mat here. Pulling my knees to my butt tight there. Control of the thumb, and there's my easy tap. Okay, interesting. Swallowing the arm, okay? So we're here, boom, we're high. There. We come through, let's say this time I just get the arm, okay? I lean to the side, my leg stays tight here. I can even grab the elbow, boom, hit my S mount here. Okay, cinch this in tight. Okay, I can go ahead and grab this, there, okay? I come around, tight, post, lock him in. Okay, I've got his shoulders to me here, okay? I sit forward, grab that wrist, swallow the arm. As much as I can, I get over this arm. If he comes loose there, it's gonna take the arm, okay? It's probably not gonna happen. You're gonna have to get up here real tight and get on this, trap. I've got this trapped. Now, I gotta get right where the hand and wrist meet here. 
and I push it down. And that's what feeding it into my armpit. Once I'm here and I push that wrist down, very uncomfortable for Clay. I bring it out this way, like going for an Americana here. Bring it around there. Heels in. Thumb. Always make sure the thumb's up so I know where the elbow's at. And bridge. I can keep this bit down too here if I want to. Okay? <laughs>